you've probably heard us say you have to keep your fast twitch fibers activated to preserve your metabolic flexibility. But what does that even mean? Well, let's, let's make this simple so you understand it. Metabolic flexibility is your body's ability to switch between fuel sources, fat and glucose, based on what life demands. And your fast twitch fibers play a huge role in this switch. Because during high intensity exercise, like sprinting or heavy lifting or jumping, your body relies on these fibers to clear glucose quickly. Fast twitch fibers are one of the most powerful ways your body maintains blood sugar balance. You can think of them like first responders. When they're trained and activated regularly, they stay highly insulin sensitive, which means when glucose enters your bloodstream after a meal, after a snack, these fibers pull it in and use it. But if those fibers go unused, they shrink, they get sleepy, they go offline. And instead of clearing glucose from your blood, your body starts storing it, often as fat in your liver, belly, and worst, visceral fat. That's the turning point. Here's how we explain it to clients. If you're not training your fast twitch fibers, your body forgets how to burn carbs efficiently. And when that happens, inside those fibers, you lose both storage space and metabolic drive. Instead of glucose being taken up and used for energy, it floats around longer, gets stored more often, and leads to the crash cycle, fatigue, cravings, and stubborn weight gain. This is why people who don't move with speed or power often feel tired, even when they're doing cardio. Their fast twitch engines are shut off. Now let's clear something up. So we get asked this all the time. When you say fast twitch fibers store more glycogen or are insulin sensitive, what are you talking about? Type 2A, type 2X, those are the fast twitch fibers we have. The answer is both, but in slightly different ways. Type 2A are the hybrids. They're powerful and they can last a little bit longer. They use both oxygen and glucose to create energy and they're highly trainable. These are your everyday power fibers. You use them in, in loaded movements, pushing heavy things, climbing stairs with intention. Then there's the type 2X. These are your pure fast twitch muscles. Explosive, max force, but quick fatigue. First to go when you stop moving with intensity. They're activated when you sprint, jump, or lift at near maximal loads. And they're the ones most vulnerable to age and disuse. So yes, both types store glycogen. Both are insulin sensitive. But type 2A are more sustainable workhorses for most people's long term. Which brings us to one of the biggest blind spots in training and dieting. And here's what most people don't know. Dieting can dramatically speed up muscle loss, especially when protein intake is low or strength training is missing. Or the calorie deficit is just too extreme. Those are the three scenarios under which weight loss can be extremely detrimental to muscle. This is why we see clients who lose 20 pounds, but end up weaker, slower, and metabolically worse off. Because it wasn't just fat that they lost, they lost muscle, and that muscle was the key to their metabolism. It was the very thing pulling glucose out of their bloodstream, the thing burning calories at rest, the thing keeping them strong and stable. At Mindster, we believe this. If you're not measuring muscle loss alongside weight loss, you shouldn't be cutting or dieting at all, ever. Because losing weight without protecting muscle is a recipe for long-term metabolic damage and disaster. Now, here's a number that gets thrown around a lot. Only about 30 to 35% of fast twitch fiber is lost with age. Doesn't sound like a lot, but the number's misleading. Because it's only measuring fiber size, not function, not connection, and definitely not power. So, in inactive people, studies show up to 50% loss in fast twitch fibers count by the age of 80. And strength, it can drop by as much as 70%. Why? Because it's not just losing fibers, it's about losing the neurological connection to those fibers. So they're not just shrinking, they're going offline. And when that happens, it's not just about performance, it's about your ability to stand up quickly, react to a fall, climb a hill, catch yourself before you hit the ground. So yes, 30% sounds like a fairly small number until you realize it's the start of a chain reaction that can affect every system in your body. And when you factor in inactivity, illness, and chronic dieting, the 30% becomes something much, much more dangerous. What's the good news? It's reversible, but only if you send the right signal to the body. And that's why it's so critical that you understand signals and what the body's hearing when you send those signals. Mindster's here to bring clarity over chaos, one conversation at a time. If you're ready to keep going deeper, subscribe, tap the bell, and join the dialogue.